Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, fly to your protection O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, as we gather this Sunday to celebrate the Holy Eucharist, let us experience the loving and saving presence of God who draws us to Himself. And let us respond to God's invitation with total trust and with firm faith so that we may become less unworthy to receive Jesus in this Holy Mass. Let us now be sorry for our many sins. Let us ask God's forgiveness, and let us entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to, and to you, you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have, have greatly sinned in my, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my, through my fault, through my, through my fault, through my, through my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore, Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, Mary ever Virgin, Virgin, all the all angels, angels and saints, and you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, whom taught by the Holy Spirit, we dare to call our Father. Bring, we pray, to perfection in our hearts the spirit of adoption as your sons and daughters. 
that we may merit to enter into the inheritance you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The night of the Passover was known beforehand to our fathers that, with sure knowledge of the oaths in which they put their faith, they might have courage. Your people awaited the salvation of the just and the destruction of their foes. For when you punished our adversaries, in this you glorified us whom you had summoned. For in secret, the holy children of the good were offering sacrifice and putting into effect with one accord the divine institution. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Exalt, you just in the Lord. Praise from the upright is fitting. Bless the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen for his own inheritance. The eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear him, upon those who hope for his kindness, to deliver them from death and preserve them in spite of famine. Our soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield. May your kindness, O Lord, be upon us, who have put our hope in you. reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, faith is the realization of what is hoped for and evidence of things not seen. Because of it, the ancients were well attested. By faith, Abraham obeyed when he was called to go out to a place that he was to receive as an inheritance. He went out, not knowing where he was to go. By faith, he sojourned in the promised land as in a foreign country, dwelling in tents with Isaac and Jacob, heirs of the same promise. For he was looking forward to the city with foundations, whose architect and maker is God. By faith, he received power to generate, even though he was past the normal age, and Sarah herself was sterile. For he thought 
that the one who made the promise was trustworthy. So it was that there came forth from one man, himself as good as dead, descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky, and as countless as the sands on the seashore. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. Stay awake and be ready, for you do not know on what the day the Son of Man will come. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not be afraid any longer, little flock, for your Father is pleased to give you the kingdom. Sell your belongings and give alms. Provide money bags for yourselves that do not wear out, an inexhaustible treasure in heaven that no thief can reach nor moth destroy. For where your treasure is, there also will your heart be. Gird your loins and light your lamps, and be like servants who await their master's return from a wedding ready to open immediately when he comes and knocks. Blessed are those servants whom the master finds vigilant on his arrival. Amen, I say to you, he will gird himself, have them recline at table, and proceed to wait on them. And should he come in the second or third watch and find them prepared in this way, Blessed are those servants. Be sure of this. If the master of the house had known the hour when the thief was coming, he would not have let his house be broken into. You also must be prepared, for at an hour you do not expect, the Son of Man will come. Then Peter said, Lord, is this parable meant for us or for everyone? And the Lord replied, Who then is the faithful and prudent steward, whom the master will put in charge of his servants to distribute the food allowance at the proper time? Blessed is that servant whom his master on arrival finds doing so. Truly I say to you, the master will put the servant in charge of all his property. But if that servant says to himself, My master is delayed in coming, and begins to beat the men servants and the maid servants to eat and drink and get drunk, then that servant's master will come on an unexpected day at an, and at unknown hour and will punish the servant severely and assign him a place with the unfaithful. That servant who knew his master's will but did not make preparations nor act in accord with his will shall be beaten severely. And the servant who was ignorant of his master's will 
but acted in a way deserving of a severe beating, shall be beaten only lightly. Much will be required of the person entrusted with much, and still more will be demanded of the person entrusted with more. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, what is faith? Faith is commonly understood as believing and trusting in God who cares for us, who provides for us, who protects and defends us, the God who saves us. And that is the experience of the Israelites as described in our first reading today. We recall the night of the Passover, the night when God liberated the Israelites from Egypt when God freed them from slavery. That night, they experienced God as their liberator, as their savior. At nanampalataya sila sa Diyos na ito na nagpapalaya sa kanila, nag-iingat sa kanila, at gumagabay sa kanila bilang kanilang Diyos dahil itinuturing sila ng Diyos bilang kanyang bayan. Faith is also understood as following and obeying God, His will, His teachings, his commandments and laws, even if many times we do not fully understand them. Ang pananampalataya ay pananalig sa Diyos, pagtitiwala sa Diyos, at dahil nananalig at nagtitiwala ako sa Diyos, nakikinig ako sa Kanyang kalooban, sumusunod ako sa Kanyang kalooban, Sumusunod ako sa kanyang utos, turo at salita, kahit hindi ko lubusang nauunawaan. That is the example given to us by Abraham and Sarah, as we heard in our second reading today. Even in old age, Abraham obeyed God when God told him to leave his place and go to a land that God will point out to him. Even though Sarah was sterile and old, she believed the promise that she would bear a son. That is faith. Yung kahit hindi ka tiyak, naniniwala ka sa salita ng Diyos at sumusunod ka sa Kanya dahil alam mong nagmamahal ang Diyos na ito sa iyo. Yan, pananampalataya. But this Sunday, my dear brothers and sisters, Jesus gives us another interesting description of what faith is. In our gospel today, Jesus narrates a parable about good servants and bad servants. And how do you know the difference between a good servant and a bad servant? You will know the difference between the two the moment the master leaves. Sa oras na umalis ang kanilang amo, ang kanilang Panginoon, 
Doon malalaman kung sino ba ang mabuting alipin at ang masamang alipin. When the master is away, bad servants play. When the master is out of sight, bad servants start to act as though they were the master. They neglect their duties. They eat, they drink, they get drunk, and they abuse their fellow servants. Ang masamang lingkod, kapag wala na ang kanyang Panginoon, umaasta nang siya ang Panginoon. Dahil wala na ang amo dito, ako na ang amo ninyo. Good servants, on the other hand, remain faithful to their duties even if the master is not around. They continue doing their tasks even though no one is looking because they know at the time they do not expect the master will return. And so even if the master is out of sight, they remain connected to their master as though the master is around. Yung mabuting lingkod, kahit wala ang kanyang boss, patuloy siyang magtatrabaho, patuloy niyang gagawin kung ano yung tama, dahil nananatili siyang konektado sa kanyang Panginoon. Kahit hindi niya nakikita ang kanyang Panginoon, nasa kanyang isip at nasa kanyang puso pa rin ang kanyang Panginoon. Kaya hindi siya magpapabaya, hindi siya magtatamad-tamaran, hindi niya aabusuhin ang kanyang kapwa lingkod dahil sa kanyang gunita na nanatili pa rin ang kanyang Panginoon. Good servants remain connected to their master. And even though the master is out of sight, the master remains in the hearts of good servants. But for bad servants, when the master is out of sight, the master is also out of their hearts. Kapag wala na sa paningin, sa isip at sa puso, nawawala na rin. My dear brothers and sisters, today Jesus teaches us that faith is about constantly being conscious of God. Ang pananampalataya ay yung palagi mong inaalala sa iyong isip, palagi mong dinadala sa iyong puso ang Diyos. Hindi siya nawawaglit sa iyong isip at sa iyong puso. Palagi siyang nandyan sa iyong buhay. Faith is being like good servants who remain connected to God and who remain conscious of the presence of God even though we do not always feel Him. Because if we forget God when we do not see Him, when we do not hear Him, when do we do not feel Him, when we confine God to a particular place na ang Diyos pang simbahan lang at sa labas ng simbahan nakakalimutan na natin ng Diyos, when we confine God to a particular day, ang Diyos pang linggo lang, pero lunes hanggang sabado kinakalimutan na ang Diyos, 
when we confine God to particular times, o kapag umaga, pagising ko, magdarasal ako, aalalahanin ko ang Diyos. Pag gabi, bago ako matulog, magdadasal ako, aalalahanin ko ang Diyos. Pero yung buong maghapon, nakalimutan na ang Diyos. Then we are acting like bad servants. The moment the master is out of sight, the master is also out of our hearts. My dear brothers and sisters, to have faith is not simply to believe and to trust God. To have faith is not simply to follow and obey God. To have faith is to constantly be in conscious of God. I believe in God the whole day through. I follow God the whole day through. Sa buong maghapon, sinusunod ko ang Diyos. Naniniwala ako sa Diyos. Nagtitiwala ako sa Diyos. Kung kahit wala na sa paningin, sa isip at sa puso, nananatili pa din, yan ang pananampalataya. Consciousness of God is important because that consciousness of God, constant consciousness of God, gives meaning, direction, and purpose to our life. Kung palagi nating inaalala ang Diyos, nasaan man tayo, ano man ang ating ginagawa, sino man ang kasama natin, kung palaging nasa gulita natin ng Diyos, alam natin kung ano ang tama at ano ang mali. If God is constantly in our consciousness, we know what decisions to choose and what decisions to avoid. If God is always in our consciousness, then we know what path to take and what path to we should not take. Kung kahit nagmamaneho ka, namamalengke ka, nagtatrabaho o nag-aaral ka, naglilinis ka ng bahay, nakikipagkwentuhan, nagko-computer, nag-chat-chat, nagso-social media, kung nasa alaala natin ng Diyos, alam natin, mali ito, hindi ko dapat gawin. Tama ito, ito ang dapat kong piliin. Kapag palaging nasa gunita natin ng Diyos, gagabayan tayo sa ating buhay. Malalaman natin ano ang tamang landas na dapat nating tahakin. Pero sa oras na mawala sa gunita ang Diyos, madali nang maligaw. Lalabo na ang tama at mali. Gagawa na tayo ng compromises at madali nang magpadala sa tukso, kasamaan at kasalanan dahil wala nang gagabay sa ating buhay. My dear brothers and sisters, do you have faith? And if you have faith, does that mean that God is constantly in your consciousness? na walang sandali sa aking maghapon na hindi ko inaalala ang Diyos. Na walang oras at walang lugar na hindi ko ginugunita ang Diyos. It might also be interesting to ask, what are you always conscious of? Who are you always thinking about? Many times we are so conscious about ourselves. We are conscious about the way we look. We are conscious about the impression we make on other people. 
we are conscious about the way people look at us. Or we always think about ourselves. Puro sarili lamang ang iniisip. O palaging iniisip yung ibang tao. Iniisip ko ang aking pamilya. Iniisip ko ang aking mga mahal sa buhay. Iniisip ko ang aking crush. Iniisip ko ang aking boyfriend or girlfriend. Maghapon sila lamang ang laman ng aking isip. Do we even think about God? Because whatever we have in our consciousness will surely guide and give direction to our life. My dear brothers and sisters, let us be good servants. Let us remain connected always to God. Because that is faith. But you know that is not just faith. When you keep someone always in your mind and in your heart, that is love. Yung mga taong minamahal natin o yung mga bagay na mahalaga sa atin, hindi yan nawawaglit sa ating isip at sa ating puso. Kaya kung palaging nasa isip mo at nasa puso mo, minamahal mo yan. If we have faith in God, and if we love God, then let us always be conscious of Him. Please stand. Let us all together profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried, he descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and, and life, life everlasting. Amen. Amen. In receiving the gift of faith, we are called to obedience, to hope, and to be ready to welcome Christ at any hour. Let us intercede for others with a, with a sense of that faith. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Pope, bishops, priests, and deacons who serve and lead the household of faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For world leaders who one day must give an account of their work to God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For respect and care for God's creation in the environment. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For faith that looks forward to an eternal city, founded, designed, and built by God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all who have died in faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. We pray in silence for our personal petitions. We remember the people who requested our prayers. And we also pray for all the intentions offered in this Mass. Eternal Father, we do not know the day or hour when the Son will return as judge. 
Look upon our prayers as signs of faith in His coming. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, to accept the offerings of your church, for in your mercy you have given them to be offered and by your power you transform them into the mystery of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, He humbled Himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, He freed us from unending death, and by rising from the dead, He gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, 
Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. John, Mary, Vianney, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, and so we have the courage to pray.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am I'm not worthy, worthy that, that you should, should enter, enter under, under my roof, but, but only, only say the, the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen.
Let us pray. May the communion in your sacrament that we have consumed save us, O Lord, and confirm us in the light of your truth, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat sa pagpunta ngayon dito sa Manila Cathedral at sa pagdalo sa ating banal na misa. Salamat din po sa mga kapatid nating kasama sa live streaming ng pagdiriwang na ito. Salamat sa lahat ng kasama sa iba't ibang social media platforms, lalong-lalo na po sa TV Maria. We also wish to thank the servants and staff of the Manila Cathedral, the uh, staff and crew of TV Maria, and those who provided the uh, sign language interpretation for this Mass. Maraming salamat po sa inyo. At nawa po ay pagpalain ng Panginoon itong bagong linggo, nawa ay pagkalooban niya tayo ng biyaya na walang sandali na siya ay mawaglit sa ating isip. At ang palaging pag-alala at paggunita sa Panginoon ang siya nawang gumabay sa ating buhay. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May Almighty God bless you in His kindness and pour out saving wisdom upon you now and forever. Amen. May He nourish you always with the teachings of the faith and make you persevere in holy deeds now and forever. Amen. May He turn your steps towards Himself and show you the path of charity and peace now and forever. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. <laughs>